you guys, this is your girl Jasmine Yvonne and I'm coming to you guys today to do a review for clip-ins that I received from a company called Irresistible Me. They sent me their 1B clip-ins and this is the 26 gram I believe and that's the weight of the clip-ins. Um, I believe that's the largest weight that you can get in clip-ins but if I'm wrong I will leave the correct um, weight right here just in case because I have like the worst memory ever and I probably like totally forget. Okay, so um, pretty much uh, they sent me the hair through FedEx. It came pretty quickly. It came in like two days. Um, so the shipping was really, 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 really quick. Um, when I open up my box, this is how it looks. It looks just like this. And it says Irresistible Me Hair Extensions in the front. And it has their website here. I really liked the box because it looks really pretty. And it's like well put together. It's a really nice... Um, well put well constructed box and I'm really like I love when stuff comes really nicely packaged so I was really really happy about that and when you open up your box it has this red paper and it says irresistible me on it and all of your clippings and your hair extensions will come in here now they separate it it, which I really did like and what it is is like the bigger hair pieces like your middle piece and like your kind of lower back pieces they go on this side and like your bang pieces so say if you wanted the middle part and you want to add like a hair or two you know those will go on this side the smaller side and also um my ring light is so bright you can't see it let me dim it down so maybe it'll look better <laughs> nope still, it's still glistening okay <laughs> but yeah so um the little the smaller pieces will come down in this little bag and the bigger pieces will come in this bag i'm trying to like not have the ring light like glisten off the paper so you guys can see what i'm talking about but i think now you guys got the gist so let me just turn this brightness up a little bit okay 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 so um <laughs> When you read, it has like a back of it, which it pretty much just tells you like you can't exchange them and don't use any heat tools or styling products on this hair if you want to exchange it and things like that. So, so it pretty much tells you like if something's wrong with it, don't do anything to the hair, just send it back and we'll give you new ones. Um, so yeah, I really liked this bag. I liked how they sealed it off. They have like a little seal so it, it lets you know like no one has opened it and touched it. So that's a good thing as well. So when you get the clippings, you know like no one has touched it, no one has opened them, no one has played with them. They're perfect, they're good and gravy. So I really just liked the packaging a lot. Also your bundles and stuff come in like a hairnet as well. So I really, really just liked the packaging. I thought it was really nicely well put together. So that was really okay, good. so when you get your clippings, um mine um pretty much smell like really um weird. <laughs> they have like a really strong smell. I don't even know how to explain the smell, but they have like a really really just strong odor to them and I had to wash them when you wash your hair out one time the smell should go away but mine just smelled really bad so all I did was condition them and it smelled away but I noticed that when I did wash the hair it felt like it had a little residue on like kind of feel to it um these hair extensions are human hair but I'm not sure if this unprocessed I don't believe that it is unprocessed just from the smell of the hair and how it felt after I washed it I feel like the hair is a little processed um, so that is one thing that I did notice when I did receive my hair is that it did have a smell to it. Now, when I received it, I'm pretty sure that other people probably get the same thing if I got it and it had a smell to it. Um, probably everyone has a smell to it, but, uh, yours may not have a smell, but I just know personally for my hair, it had a smell. I'm going to show you guys how the clippings look. So this is how a wefted clip will look. And this is pretty much, this is a smaller um, band. Um, this is something you would probably put in the back of your hair. Um, like the ends, like not the ends, but like your nap area. This is probably what you'll put back there. Um, just to give it a little bit extra length. Then you move into the bigger pieces, which would be like the middle pieces and things of that sort, which I will show you guys. How a middle piece. I hope this this isn't what? 
don't know why I thought this is ratchet. I thought I'm gonna take my weave out. Is this ratchet? No, it's not ratchet. <laughs> like people take their wigs off and stuff all the time. This will be like a middle piece. And as you can see, it's way bigger. The wefting is way bigger. It's thicker and it has more clips on it. So this would be a bigger weft. So your hair, if you get the 26 um, gram weight, you're probably gonna get like a bigger piece like this and then you're gonna get like, I would say three or four or five like pieces that are this size, which again, I'll show you guys the smaller sizes and this is the pieces that will go in the back of your head. And then you'll also get like a larger piece that can go like around your like perimeter and then you'll get like bang pieces that'll go inside your head. Um, My thoughts on the clip-ins since I've been wearing them and I have been wearing them for the last two weeks because I've been wearing my natural hair and I really I like clip-ins I enjoy clip-ins just because I like giving my hair a break and then you know some days you want to be just all natural and then some days you want to add length and I feel like clip-ins is the quickest and easiest way to add length to your hair without you having to do a lot of work but the only thing with these clip-ins is that they did tangle um, a good bit I don't know if it's because I had like a little bit of residue left on the hair from washing it or what it was but I did feel like a little bit of tanglingness every time like every time I wore them and took them out it always tangled and I don't really like when clippings tangle because it kind of gets wrapped around your real hair and it'll cause your real hair and the wefted hair to kind of mesh and when you're pulling it apart like when you're about to go to sleep and then you're taking them off it will kind of yank on your hair and it will hurt a little bit so that's one thing I did not like um, with these clippings is that it did tangle and Another thing is, if you see the clips, they're small. They're baby clips. The small clips are really good for if you have thinner hair. But if you're like me and you have really, really, really thick hair, smaller clips might not do it for you. Just because smaller clips, they just, they don't hold on as much. They don't have that, that what's the word that tug that snug and tug that you need like when you have thicker hair you just need the bigger clips and if I don't know if you guys know but like you can buy wig clips like this from your beauty supply and they have like this size and medium and um, large I prefer medium and large just because again if you have thicker hair you need a bigger clip just so it can get into the, your hair and actually hold on to it because I've noticed with the smaller clips they tend to kind of slide and not lose like not have as much holding um, you know capacity that I would like and pretty much towards like the end of the day I can like they're literally like holding on by a thread like onto my natural hair. like it feels like they're like pulling on my natural hair and it actually hurts and it's uncomfortable and like I can't wait until I get in the car and like yank the suckers off so that's another thing I didn't really like so recently I've been only wearing like this piece or like two or three pieces in the back and that's it I haven't been wearing all of them like I normally would with clipments just because of that the fact that they are tugging and pulling on my natural hair and it kind of feels uncomfortable so those are my only um two really big issues with this hair but for the most part i do i do like these clippings i just feel like it could be just a little better um quality but then again i feel like clippings aren't really made for doing a lot of stuff clippings are kind of made for like when your hair is out and it's straight and you just want to throw some length that's pretty much what clippings are for if you want clippings that you want to do like a ton of stuff with you might want to make sure that you get 100 percent unprocessed un you know touched pretty much human extensions but i believe these are um a tad bit processed and that's maybe why they're kind of tangling make sure if you wear clippings um these are little tips for one, make sure that you don't sleep in clip-ins and you don't wear them all the time because if you sleep in clip-ins, it can break your hair off and pull your hair off. And if you wear them all the time, it can do the same thing. So make sure that every single night when you go to sleep, you take your clip-ins off and you go to sleep. Trust me, I used to sleep in clip-ins when I first started wearing them just because I just didn't feel like taking them off. And it did, every time I took them off, it would pull my hair off like little chunky chunks. Not chunks, but like, it would be like a little, like, a little glob like this much would be like yanked off so if you don't want that <laughs> make sure that you don't sleep in clip-ins um don't brush and comb and do all this stuff with the clip-ins in if you want to curl your clip-ins if you want to style your clip-ins do it prior 
to you inserting them into your head just because again that can cause breakage and that can cause um, your hair to kind of um, get pulled out so make sure if you're straightening your hair you're curling your hair you curl the clippings first and then you curl your real hair and then after everything is done you then go back and you curl your um, curl then you go back and then you insert your clippings so make sure that you guys do that and um hope that you guys enjoyed this video and sorry if i sound like a crackhead or something because i'm so tired and i cannot wait to go to sleep so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that this video helped you guys out and if you guys want me to do like another video with clippings just let me know but you might be like a little postponed because i'm about to get my hair braided tomorrow <laughs> because i'm about to throw some weed back in my head i miss wigs i didn't think i would miss wigs but i really miss wigs but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope that this helps someone out there and i hope that you guys check out irresistible me clippings make sure you follow them on instagram and make sure that you check out their website as well and as always thank you guys so much for watching